hey what's up guys um again welcome to my channel um in this video we're going to be focusing on the front end validations for the registration form now just like before what we're going to do is use the login as our our skeleton um for the registration form so now uh, we're going to use exactly what we did in here but add other elements to it so now the first thing i need to do is within the js folder there i'm going to create um I'm going to create a, a file for the registration form. So I'm going to say register. Validation. JS. Okay. And then copy what we did here within the login validations into the registration form. And then the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change this from login to reg form now i realized like uh, just like within the login form i didn't actually wrap the form elements within a form tag so the first thing i need to do again is uh i'm gonna start off here copy everything or copy all the login i mean all the registration form elements and then create the form tag so this is going to be registration form and then from there And I'll say form and then give it a class of sorry about that new form and then give it a class for reg form and then paste everything back as we found it. I uh, just need to indent them a bit there until there. Okay. So yeah, that's our 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 form uh, registration form. So like I said, how it's gonna access those particular elements within that form? It's uh it's gonna look with the f look within within the form that has that particular class, and then look for the name fields or the name attributes that have these the, these names. So since we already have the email and the password, all we need to do is add the confirm field. A last name and first name field. So what I need to do now is here where it says right above where it says email, I'll say first name and I'll say required to true and I'll say min length will be about three characters. And then from there on, I'll do the exact same thing for the last name field. Just gonna copy that and then just paste it above the email field and change that to last name. Okay, I just need to add some comments here so that I can see what I'm doing. So it's first name. And then I'm also going to say All right, uh, same thing there, end of All right Alright, so I need to now add the confirm password field. So if I remember correctly, I think I named it as yeah, confirm password. Just gonna copy that and then uh, place it there. Say required true. And then what I need to say now is equal to and then then I'll say equal to the password field. So now that means that we need to add an ID to the to the password field because it's gonna compare this particular field to whatever field that has that ID over there. 
So within the registration form, I'll just give the password field there an ID of password. So make sure the ID is sim is exactly the same as the one that you pass in uh, over here. All right. Now I think that's that's all for the rules. I think it's the first name, last name, and then email. Okay. So now we also need to set the messages as well. So what I'll do is. Right above there, I'll say first name. I'll say required. And the message for that will be the first name field is required. All right. And then the, as for the minimum length, we can, by default, it's going to give a message there, but we can also, just for the sake of this, I'll, I'm also going to add a, a message for that, but only for the name, first name field. So I'll say length. Yeah. All right, so now we're going to do the last name field. I'll say required. All right, so for the last name field, I'm not going to I'm not going to add a message for the minimum length field. Um, um, for this one, I just wanted to do it as a for the demo. But for that, for the for, for the last name field, I'll just leave it uh, to give the default uh, the default message. So um, the last thing I need to do is. Okay, so now let's add the message for the require uh, the confirm field. I'll just say please confirm, please. Yeah, I'll just say please confirm password. And then for the for the message where it needs to uh the message that needs to display to the user where if the field um the password field and the confirm field don't match, um we can say something like let me just copy this here. I'll say um, actually let me do this. The password and I'll say and
here uh, do not match. I think that should be fine. Um, so I think that's all we need in terms of the error messages and the rules for the for the registration field. Um, let's just uh, double check and see if what we did is correct here. Okay, so if you click there. Uh, uh, just one moment, please. So, which form? First name, last name, email, password, confirm password. Oh, sorry, I've actually forgot to to link the the scripts uh, the script text that we're gonna need. So what I'll do is I'm just gonna copy everything that we did here. And now I'm just gonna change this here. Let's say register validations. Okay, let's just check it now. Uh, again, one moment please. Okay, so it's confirm field, password field, email field, last name field, first name field. Okay. Which form is first name? Directory. Um, apologies for that guys, um, I noticed that there were spaces in between where I actually put the name attributes, so I just need to actually cancel that out along with there, uh, just to be sure, okay, the name field, email field, password field, uh, let me just check now, okay, so there we have it, so my mistake was that there were actually spaces there um, on the name attributes. Okay, so I think that should be it in terms of the validations for the for the registration form. Um, as you can see, if we put in two less than two characters there, it will give the error message, so the default error message, and then for the first name field, it'll show the custom one that we actually created. So um, yeah, that's about it, guys. Um, again, um, for those of you who haven't done so already, please like and share and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Um, I'll be seeing you guys within the next video. Cheers for now.